Good morning, everybody, and welcome to This Week with Pastor Dino. I'm Dino, and I'm so glad to have you joining us here at First Presbyterian Church of Bradenton, where we are cultivating hearts for Jesus from the heart of downtown. Now, I am on a pastor's retreat. I go quarterly to Chicago, and it's a nine-session retreat. I'm so blessed to be able to come up here. It's just an awesome time for me to grow spiritually, become the, the person and the pastor that uh, our church wants me to be, needs me to be, and uh, it's been an amazing opportunity. This is the third one I've been to, so I'm broadcasting from Chicago, uh, from my room in the retreat center. Let's start off with a devotional today from David. You, God, are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you in a dry and parched land where there is no water. That's from Psalm 63. That's uh, the first verse. And uh, we met David yesterday. Uh, we talked a bit about him, uh, Larry did, and things weren't always good with David. Uh, David made some bad choices. So we read something like this that he wrote that says, God, I earnestly seek after you. And and then we see the story and we go, well, that doesn't make any sense. How is this the same guy? Uh, when, when David talks here about being in a dry and parched land, I think he's talking about his heart and that sense that he gets into a valley. Um, he, he gets into a really bad place. He feels very uh, vulnerable after his sin. He feels like he's let God down and let his people down. So he's feeling dry. He's feeling empty. And we get there. I, I understand that every one of us at times feel that way. Uh, but he's earnestly seeking for God. So he's not defined by his sin. He's not defined by uh, feeling like he's in, in a desert in the wilderness again. He's defined by earnestly seeking God. And that's our calling. That's our true calling is to earnestly seek after God uh, every day of our lives. We're not always going to do it perfectly, but that is our calling. So keep that in mind this week. Be thinking about maybe some parts of your life that are dry, that need some some tending to, and uh, earnestly seek God to fill in those spaces. Thanks be to God. Now this week at First Presbyterian Church, we are going to be open all week in the office. Uh, we are in our sermon series, Rebellion, that's going to take a bit of a turn here as we get into next month. Uh, but it's exciting um, that we get to talk about redemption at the end of this Rebellion series. So that's coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, we've got a couple of missionaries from our church, uh, Charlie and Audrey Mills, representing First Press in Belize right now. And here's a couple of pictures uh, that they sent me just to say that they got there safely and already kind of hitting the ground running. Going to be doing a lot of great work with their team. So we'll be keeping them in prayer all week long. And uh, it's, it's a great time at the church uh, as we kind of ramp in the fall. We've got this construction stuff wrapping up. So a um, little bit of a hiccup, but you come to church and we'll take good care of you. And uh, we'll look forward to have everything done with this renovation here uh, by the end of September. So that's exciting. Now, in terms of online programming this week, we've got breakfast and Bible study on Saturday morning, every Saturday morning at 10 o'clock on Zoom. Go to bradenton.church slash Zoom to find out how to connect with that class. In addition, we've got worship services at 9 and 11 every single Sunday morning, and we broadcast those. Apologize for any of the hiccups you may have uh, gotten trying to watch online. Uh, the last couple of weeks, we've had a tough time connecting, and it's on the server end over at YouTube and Facebook. This is not just a first press issue. It's been happening to a lot of churches in a lot of feeds, so uh, stick with us. We will get you uh, the best of what we can get you the best way we can, uh, so just stick with us on Sunday mornings. Um, now, we've also got concerts that have been popping up on Wednesday nights. If you've missed those, they are on YouTube and Facebook. Check them out. And Paul's been putting up more concerts. So let's see if this week we're going to have another one, huh? Again, David was seeking after God. Uh, he felt like he was entrenched in a dry land, but he was seeking after God earnestly with the whole of his heart, giving his best effort. We talked about that a couple weeks ago. We're never going to get it right 100% of the time. We do have to give our best effort because God gave us his best first. So keep that in mind this week. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you when I get back. Until next time, I'll see you again on This Week with Pastor Dino. Bye-bye.